Dr. Halkidis, good to see you as always. We're at the middle of the month and is the state on target to reach this 70% goal of vaccinating eligible adults? Hey, Brianna, thanks for having me. And uh, that's a great question. The state is, has done a phenomenal job getting to above 60% in a short amount of time. 70% is an aspiration. We're in the middle of the month. We have two weeks left. Will we get to 70%? We'll get close to 70%. Every effort is being made in the state and on the federal level to get vaccine into people's arms. Is that 70% still the right mile marker? In this situation, this is one of those cases where the bigger the number, the better. And so with every percentage point that we increase, we're going to see a benefit in our state. So if, for example, at 60%, we're already seeing cases less than 200 a day. That is remarkable. And so we can't think about herd immunity as a one or nothing thing, but as a slightly escalating number. And with a, even more escalation, the cases go down. 70 gets us to a place where we're gonna see maybe 100 cases a day. We, where we want to be ultimately is 100%, but of course we'll never be there. Yeah, Kate, you mentioned cases, but of course hospitalizations and deaths, also significant improvement there. Absolutely. So, you know, when we, when the disease is not spread anymore, when the disease is being contained, which is what herd immunity is all about, then as a result, people don't get sick. And if people don't get sick, then people don't die. And this is what we have wanted to do for the last year and a half. What's your take on how the state has now been shifting um, the way su vaccine supply is being distributed and administered to keep up with how it's evolving, how demand is evolving. Yeah, so I think that Department of Health and Governor Murphy have been really um, innovative in their approaches. You know, what we know is that there's going to probably be 20% of the population that's never going to get vaccinated, no matter what we do. We could like give them millions of dollars now they won't get vaccinated but the fact that using the beer initiative using the ems initiative trying to think of how you get to people in indirect ways or in innovative ways is key i would love to see pop-up sites more pop-up sites i would love to see setting up outside bodegas and supermarkets just getting the vaccine to where people are and then we'll get to that 80 percent probably within the, by the end of the summer, very easily. Do you think though, that some of those community approaches should have also been integrated earlier on with the mega sites? There should have been from the very beginning, pop-up sites, EMS, mega sites, churches, all of this should have been done from the beginning, right? But people were just moving so, so quickly, Brianna, they didn't think about that stuff. So better late than never, right? You like, but more innovation. Dr. Perry Halkidis, always good to talk to you. Thanks so much. It's my pleasure to be here.